Have you yet realized that veganism is just another ism? No more meaningful than how many people tell you you are good for being in it. It's unsuitably unsubtle, lacking nuance, and while causing trouble, disguises itself as a haloed angel, all holier than thou as though life is a Disney fable. Life eats life from nature's table, and only ignorance or idealism could convince a person that their impossible burger is more beneficial than agricultural regeneration. Remember earlier when I asked you if you'd yet realized, with real eyes, the real eyes of the not-so-wise? You see, the mistake of a so-called harm-free diet is the death inherent in it. The hidden cost of disconnection from the source of everything you eat presents itself when you discern horizon-filling fields of wheat, featuring monocropping, a term dripping with understatement as to the evil it perpetuates, killing all except the holy grain or bean or genetically edited whatever modified to handle more poison than any man, bird, beetle, ladybug or any other living form which would have made that land its home can handle, let alone the seeping of said poison into water, human, animal and Mother Earth's mantle. And I used to believe in the simplicity of seeing no blood upon my plate, as though what I ate came without responsibility or weight just because it didn't have a face. Since then, thankfully, complexity has made a friend of me, humbly, intelligently opening me to deep and flowingly life unfolding into everything. I see that death follows life and life follows death and avoiding one denies the other and all I get to choose is caring. For the birthing and the dying, this humbling responsibility of me loving me enough to know the death in what I eat and the life it gifts to me. I am done with being holier than anything. My life is now a simpler offering, getting low again, into the ground again, feeling dirt between my toes again, cleaning blood from under nails again, letting tears of wonder lift my eyes again, remembering that you are all my friends again eating, feeding, birthing, dying, being, until worms sing hallelujah in my skin as mother once more takes me in to end me where new lives begin, wrapped in dirt with a bone-white grin.